Welcome back. In this tutorial, I will give you a few tips about how to get your digital files organized in a way that will make your product upload and update process much more efficient. If you're like me, you may not have established a streamlined system from the get-go. All you have to do is decide what folder names or categories make the most sense to you and set aside some time to organize your files within that structure. This example can help get you started. I've also included a PDF outline of all the folders I'm about to navigate, so you don't have to take intensive notes. Your first step is to start from the top down. Create a folder, especially for the resources you want to sell. I sell my products on Teachers Pay Teachers, so I simply name my folder Teachers Pay Teachers. Next step, Think about the major categories you refer to when working on your resources. For me, those categories are design and legal, everything related to creating products, marketing, everything related to promoting products, and branding, everything related to building a consistent brand. First, let's take a look at design and legal tools. I pair those together because I'm very careful about copyright and intellectual property protection throughout every step of my design process. In my mind, they really go hand in hand. Within this folder, I have four subfolders. Products for Sale is a designated folder to organize my actual resources, or products. Each product has its own folder, unless it's part of a group of related products that can be bundled. Then, I have all the products within that bundle stored in one folder. Down the road, when I have more products, I might organize my folder even further by grouping products by content area. The next folder within Design and Legal Tools is Clipart. This is where I store all the design elements incorporated into my products. These creative elements are categorized by the artist's names, so I know who to include on the Where Credit is Due page for each product. I'll tell you more about that in the Legal Tools tutorial. The next folder holds my product finalization or legal tools. This is a folder that holds everything you will learn about in the Legal Tools tutorial. Each one of the important legal requirements that I like to include before publishing a product is separated into its own document, so I can run through them like a checklist each time I'm finalizing a product. And the last folder in this section is Product Ideas. My folder's empty because I actually store mine in a handy dandy notebook, but you may prefer to digitally store new ideas that pop into your mind. Now I'm going to head back out to my top level categories. My next major folder is Marketing Tools. In this folder I store promotions and advertisements I create for each of the site-wide sales that Teachers Pay Teachers hosts. I also like to store any messages that I send to my followers or any pins that I've designed to promote a sale. In addition to the promotional items, I also like to keep track of my sales data using the TPT Sales Tracker Spreadsheet. Those are my current marketing tools. Time to head back out to the top level categories again. The last major category is branding tools. This folder includes everything from the profile photo that I use in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, any banners, both previous and current, and my answers to Teachers Pay Teachers featured seller application. I wish I could show you a secret recipe for getting selected, but I've had no such luck. Now that you've had a peek at my organization system, it's time to establish your own. The PDF below includes an outline to help expedite the process for you. A bit of time spent now could save you tons of time down the road when you want to refer to a product you've already designed or you need to update a product. Once you're all organized, come on back for the first Legal Tools tutorial. Tool 3 will teach you all about how to protect your resources with Terms of Use.